Yeah. Yeah. Who was you even looking? For? He was looking. Jeff is over here. He was looking at the TVR lords. It's just a picture of you as a kid. What fuck, are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's the judge. Right? <laughs> you can't be. The, that was the whole point of the show. Time travel. See, so boom. You ain't. That kid doesn't even know who the fuck your kid is. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> He's a timekeeper too. Yeah. So whatever. Anyway, nerds in the hood. <laughs> We're not doing it low-key out here, but it's low-key Wednesday. And I said judges already spoke. Nah, shut your ass up. They, they low-key Wednesday. They were sending your order, right? No more low-key Wednesday. Anyway, it's your boy Marv Black. He's out here. And McGee. Yo, they never wait for me to sit down. I'm like, you right here. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to talk. No, no, he said, yo, we got to get this show started. I stole right. mad long for this intro for you. Yo. I right. definitely did. All right, well, guess what, yo? I'm trying to make sure the views is views. Yeah, we here. So you heard? It's, all right, fine. For my man, Ant. it's your boy Bob Black. It's out here. And we geek. And we are the nerds in the hood. 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 Hey, <laughs> BX. <laughs> the BX. What's going on, gentlemen? Yo, we still got the gun on the AC. We still have the gun on the AC, but I don't think anyone's gonna see that. So we're the only one worried about it. Let him get his cool, let him win, cool his wings, my guy. Let him cool his wings. He wants, anyway. he wants a shark too. Right? Yeah, let, him, let, him, let my man shine. Shine. Yeah, that's a song. Yeah. Get your shine on. Oh, oh no, nah, that was that was not the song, but. Oh, you're thinking different song? Yeah, yeah. but you are right though. And hey, you're thinking about let your soul glow. That's not the song. <laughs> that's what he said though. No. That's, That's what you said. I said get your shot on. Yeah, but you would start the rhythm you were going with was the soul glow. You said the wrong word. Nah, you're racist, yo. Nah, I'm not racist. <laughs> this is the facts. It was a, that's a cash money song, yo. Get your shot on. I forgot about that song. Yeah. Play that cash money song right now, Uh, no. That was copyright. It's copyright, man. Tell no. me, tell me oh, oh, some verses from it. I'm not, so you can go look for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the verses. I just remember that hook, and me and Hori always laughed at that hook. It was like, get your shine on. That's all I remember. I remember that my phone about to die. Nah. What? Where's the truck? God damn it. Nah, nah, nah. What I was going to say was, like, <laughs> I really don't know what song you're talking about at all. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying so hard. That's why I'm not talking, because I'm, I'm trying to, like, <laughs> too much brain power. <laughs> too much. He's like, oh, you got to be thinking about this shit. Yeah, no, I did. What the hell? So you're my brain. I'm you, bro. My brain's on time travel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of time travel, folks, might as well get into it. The three of us had ourselves a little sit down. We pregame before the show. Well, by pregame, we, we just ate food. But <laughs> we saw the debut episode of Low Key. That's why I was saying that pun that where he's not feeling Low Key Wednesday. We saw the debut of the Low Key television show on Disney Plus and we have some things to say, right? We got some things to talk about. Yeah. I, for one, enjoyed the show. Um, I enjoy where it's going, what it could be. It's definitely uh, a different elements from the first two shows we saw. So it um, looked like it's exploring both the sci-fi and the realness of it. But how do you gentlemen feel? I thought it was okay. I just see there's a lot of sucking going on. But there's a lot of sucking going on. Yeah, for the most part, it's intriguing. So the the fondness sucking. The sucking? Because Loki was here being charged with wild crimes. Okay. Avengers did the exact same thing and they're like, oh, Avengers get a pass. They were supposed to do that. Fuck out of here. They did the exact same thing and, and then we get sucked on part by like three people. Do you agree on said sucking? Um okay, so he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Okay. They have to, for the people that haven't seen the episode, we about to spoil a lot of things for you. But okay, just know that they did they did go back in time, right? And uh -huh. they did technically fuck shit up, right? But once you watch the episode, the way they kind of save it, I guess that makes it valid because they do save the storyline, but they don't save much of the storyline. People still die. And some people survive, right? Mm -hmm. Or just Tony Stark the only one that dies? No, it still went the same way because there were some people that died, right? Yeah, but well, like you mean from the movie? Yeah, from the movie. Right, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Tony Stark's still dead. 
Black Widow's still dead. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Captain America's still a, a, a really, really, really old man. But now his body shows it more than his age. So all of those things still happen. They admitted it because he said that. That's what he's saying. When he tried to throw the blame back on the Avengers, like, nah, holla at them. They fucked up. They was like, well, to be fair, you everything that they were supposed to do is part of the timeline. Everything that you did is different. You fucked up. That see, that's what I'm saying. That's a right. lot of, it's a lot of second days. So, like, <laughs> it's a lot of second. so you're telling me that? And it's like they, what they were saying before. He was that he's a born loser and he had to help other niggas gain a higher power, basically. Oh, I just so I that's just, even more sucking. I just thought about it. So if that's the case, then what was the vision that Iron Man saw where everybody's dead? That was a. Uh, what Ultron. timeline was that? No, but that it's Ultron, yeah, yeah. but who's sitting at the throne? Thanos. It's yeah. in the Ultron movie, but it was it was what scared him. Like he was right. like, you know, we're gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, everyone's gonna die. That had to be a timeline somewhere. It probably is. So you what were they called? The TVAs? The TVAs? Yeah. yeah. So the T the TVAs are saying that everything went straight according to plan. Right. Lies. <laughs> Big lies. Yeah. That's what they're saying. They're saying the Avengers did their job. They did it going back in time so they can stop someone like Thanos. Whereas Loki was just like, I'm all in this for myself and I'm a bounce. And here we are. All right, and that's another thing. What was it? What was it Doctor Strange that he was looking through all these timelines with? Yes. Isn't that cheating? It is, but they're saying that that was allowed. Oh, they're saying see, they're looking the other way on it. It's cheating, see? Nah, yeah, it's cheating. They're saying they look the other way on it. It was cheating, hard body. And they were like, yeah, they get a pass. Bullshit. You, yeah. know, you know what else was crazy? Was that what? there was mad Infinity Stones. What was that about? They're trying to say that in each universe there's Infinity Stones, so they just keep taking them. Yeah. They had extras, apparently. Yeah. So that means there were worlds where the Infinity Stones were not used for the right reasons or some shit. Most likely, it's just a hunch. They also destroyed the fuck out of them with just that one little stick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Understand yeah, that? They, they, they had multiple Infinity Stones in that container, uh, right? And uh, then when she whacked it with right, the stick, right. the the whatever, or what was it? What were they calling it? Uh, the they, reborn? Or something? I don't, I don't they didn't give it a name. Yeah, yeah they, they were just saying like this, a big this sentence, like be reset or reset. Yeah. The, so every time they hit you with that, you got reset. Well, you died. Yeah, no, yeah, that was it. But that was a reset. You know, those are two different weapons you were thinking of, my brother. One was one to reset you, so you start over and think about what you did. The other one was you die. Like, they were just like, we're tired of your stuff. Vanish. Vanish. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's where we're going with that, uh, in my opinion. But, yeah, um, I mean, but you knew the second was going to come, though. No, That's because of what we saw with the, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. He's not saying something. <laughs> what do you want us to say? I don't know, man. Topping. Yeah. Topping, bro? Topic. There's a lot of topping going on in Loki. Low-key. <laughs> Low-key topping. Hey. Nah, they was, they was, they was, they was definitely was, not Loki. <laughs> <laughs> they, they was wilding, though. Like, they was really, like, oh, making the Avengers seem like they were extra, extra glorious. I mean, it is the Avengers, yes, I understand. And, but I mean, the, I, overall, in the beginning of the show, at first I was kind of like, "All right, where are they going with this?" Mm. But by the end of the episode, I definitely am interested in episode two because they did go crazy with the whole like, "Oh, you know, oh, we need your help because we're trying to basically battle you." Like, what? That's where it's at. That's where it's always at. So. Those things are always cool, I guess. That's what it's always that. So at the end of the day, that's what you got to think about. It's like, that's where the show is always going to go. It's going to be like, we need your help. You know, Falcon was denied alone, but somebody still needed his help. WandaVision, somebody needed their help, right? So this is what we be doing with these shows. Somebody needs somebody help at some point in time. Falcon got denied alone. That's as far as I saw of that show. Oh, <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I still haven't caught up, bro. You want to know why? It's for some reason, it's just not that interesting. Like, it start. I don't know, man. It's When I don't fucking like a show, I literally just drop that shit. Drop it. In order for my brain to be like... All right, so, so what's your excuse for one of 
One of the bitch I didn't cop. I watched it all the way through. Well, that's it. That show was garbage. I liked it. I thought it was interesting. You watched it all the way through, bro. When she start, when she starts fighting the 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 last witch, that shit was I, right, bro. And Vision was, was he had his moments too, bro. So I feel the Winter Soldier was a little better than one. Of them. I see, but I didn't see that though. Right. <laughs> you watch it and you'll find out. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that yet. I didn't even see them talk about it like that. There was like a couple of I did see a couple of memes, but there were memes where they were cutting the show's ass, which made it less appealing to me. So I'm like, yeah, that's alright. I'm gonna try to give it a chance. I'm gonna try to give it a chance, but Loki's where it's at right now. Loki is where it's at right now. And see, oh. shout out to AJ De Niro. He said it wasn't cheating because he didn't change nothing with the time. So I don't know if he's referring to Loki or if he's referring to the Avengers. Yeah, that's more topic. You must work for the timekeepers. Yo, uh, <laughs> that's my homie. Come on, man. All right, it's a joke. We got fans out here. Man. <laughs> it wasn't cheating because he did change. He didn't change the timeline. And Mike, uh, you want to know what it says in the middle? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, my brother. This is the Aunt McGee's words of wisdom. <laughs> so we take some of the good things of what he says, and we throw it on there so that you can remember some of the wonderful things he has said. All right, so what we got? Speak loudly for the people at home. The first one, Big Hero 8, which should have been Big Hero 6. <laughs> Classic right there. And then we got, you got a J-O-B, the job. Gotta have a J-O-B. Gotta have a J-O-B. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Not my favorite one, Tiger makes one club banger a year, and his albums are trash. <laughs> All right? Instead of saying, Nintendo, I said Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> and their favorite, the Hawk and the Cold Soldier. I never said that though. I said the Falcon and the Cold Soldier. <laughs> we churched up, right? Yeah, churched it up a little. You feel me? That's what we do. <laughs> those are not. Those are actually not even any words of wisdom. <laughs> Just saying. For you, they are. The only one that's actually words of wisdom on there is. Tiger makes what they <laughs> Not even you gotta have a job, just gotta be the Tiger one. Yeah, Tiger makes one bag a year and all his albums are trash. <laughs> Those are some solid lines right there. Solid lines, brother. Right My favorite word was something isn't even on the list. What was that? Sh- Shaggy Doop. <laughs> 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 so there you go, Mike. That's what it says right there in the middle. Shout out to my boy Montez. Um, that's basically what it says right there. It's it. That's what I like to call it the words of wisdom. I know it's not full of wisdom, but it just felt right. It just it just flowed with me when I wrote it. We're gonna, so, write it. We're gonna come up with something. I'm gonna come up with something new? Okay. I said McGeeisms. McGeeisms. Wow. Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> Some McGeeisms. <laughs> it doesn't even sound right, bro. Stop. Why is that not sound right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's <laughs> let's talk about No, but I want to go back to what AJ said. You want to go back to it? Yeah, he said it wasn't cheating because he didn't change anything in the timeline. Is he talking is he referring to the fact that my man went back in time and restole the what he went back in time and restole the power stones, right? Yeah, I think he's speaking he has to be speaking on behalf of Logan. I thought he was speaking on behalf of the Avengers. But that's what I'm no, saying. That's why I thought you speak of Avengers. No, but get, but get what he, if I'm, if what I'm hearing, what he's saying is right, is because when he took the Tesseract, he went back in time. But when he went back in time, nothing happened. Mm-hmm. He just fell. And then he, okay, maybe he ran into some people that didn't speak English, and he tried to talk down to them, and it was like, what are you even doing here? But who we said was cheating, though? We said Loki's cheating? That's what I was trying to find out, because he just... I think he wrote that in the midst of whatever we were ranting about, and we just didn't see him ranting here. We didn't see him. <laughs> so now he ain't writing back. So if he does write back, well, it's what it is. Yeah, he, he's like, you know what? Fuck these guys. Nah, I'm trying to figure that out. Because Loki doesn't make sense why he's in trouble to me. I understand that he did take a moment, he used the moment of this thing to bounce out of there. But he is an escape artist. Like, wouldn't you use that shit? I mean, yeah. And he's and he's ha- he's he had it. Jail. He's had it before. It's like right. that was like the fucking fifth time the nigga held it. Right. So he already knows how to use the majority of his power. Uh-huh. Somewhat. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he he had it running in his fucking little thing. 
he had it running his his uh, staff. Yeah, scepter. Yeah, and his scepter. He then he had he, he did a couple of things with it, bro. So his scepter was the shit that remember that broke it free from um the time portal, right? That was opening up the alien shit. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to next week and whatever other weeks, however many episodes it takes. What if? Yeah. The timekeepers, the timekeepers set it up this way. Mm. They want to charge them and be like, "Yeah, we're gonna put you to death." But in reality, it's like we need your help, so we're gonna set you up. Like we're gonna put you to death, but in reality, we're just trying to, you know, bring you into the squad. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I was about to say. I already know that's where the show's going. It's, it's plain as fuck. It's like they just use yeah, they're the literally gonna to bring him in. They they show that they're gonna play the nigga by showing him that he was supposed to die, yeah. and they showed him some past things. Well, they didn't really show it to him, but you know, he he, he was they played towards his his like you know, just wanting to to just know. I don't, I don't know what that's called, what it's called exactly, but they played that card where it's just like, yo, there's the knowledge is there. He's like, fuck it. What if, this guy is a little interesting. Like, what was he really talking about? Let me go back and check it out. And then he saw well, what his timeline was supposed to be had he not escaped in that one second for the, with the Tesseract. But but what I'm confused is that if he took the Tesseract, right, and he left, then which one did Tony Stark have when he left? See, so that's the funny thing. That, that... Uh, that era where he disappeared, and he just lost the Tesseract. Yeah, but where did they get the... Oh, that's right. They did a second move again to get the one from his pops. Yeah, yeah, they went to different worlds to get it. No, they went to a different timeline. They were time yeah. double. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They went to a different reality. Yo, so right there, he should have got fucked. He went all the way back to his pops, and he ran into the nigga. Yeah. Oh, no, did he? We know already, they broke mad laws of time. Breaking laws, huh? They broke mad laws of time. They saw themselves, um, well they saw, yeah, they didn't really see themselves, but they saw people that they shouldn't have seen, all that shit. And on top of that, fucking Captain America snuffed himself. So all of that happened during that time period. <laughs> <laughs> it was all of that happened. He snuffed himself, he was like, bang, all that. So, you know what I mean? Like, the time was already fucked. So I think that was their way of saying, we are not topping you. But we are acknowledging the fact that the Avengers did fuck up, but we can only focus on one problem at a time, <laughs> and you're the problem right now. And they knew, they was like, are we gonna stop a group of people that always be winning, or are we gonna stop one guy that stayed catching else? Who's easier to take down? That's why he's on the table. In the suit, in the time suit, he's mm -hmm. wearing the time suit. This is the Funko where he's wearing the time suit right before he, he does all his oh, things gosh. to get murked. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, he, he catches the L is what it is. He does catch the L. Yeah. After living a whole life with a kid and his wife and like all these things, he catches the L. But I mean, someone had to catch the L. Who would you else would you have rather caught the L other than Tony Stark? Because honestly, it didn't make sense why he was the. His suit was, I guess, gangster. Yes, it was the best suit of all time. But to to say that yo, the most strongest person like Thor could have handled the power of the Infinity Stones, why would a mechanical robot suit? They will handle the powers of the Infinity Stone, but... Wait, what mechanical robots? Iron Man suit. Uh, nano, oh, nano his, nano, his nano armor, at the end of the day, is just tech. Thor and all these dudes couldn't handle the, the fucking thing. Even Thanos got fried from it, but nanotech was able to hold it together. He rocked the suit. He ended up dying, mm -hmm. but I'm saying, like, who who else do you think should have would have been a more... Uh, I guess, if they didn't nerf the Hulk... Well, the Hulk did it once, so he kind of fucked himself up. But, um, yeah, Captain America. Um, it was only two choices. Yeah, what is that? Captain, Captain America, America or Thor, or Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah, Iron Man would have, I mean, Thor would have never done it. Why not? He has, like, no real stake. Oh. In reality. Mm. You gotta, you gotta go with a uh, cold soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny. Cold soldier. Cold soldier. He had, he had the fucking. Um, He's mad random. He had the vibranium hand. You know, he could have, <laughs> he could have did it. Yeah. Vibranium. I said vibranium. You said vibranium. Right here at that time. Okay, um, vocabulary Avengers <laughs> doctor. Criminati. <laughs> Sorry, Avengers English teacher. <laughs> Avengers English teacher. <laughs> 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 That was the that was probably the funniest line in the show when your man said uh he said uh 
Oh, when he was like, yo, I killed somebody or whatever. And then they were like, oh, Phil Coulson? Yeah, you killed him? And he was like, yo, uh, isn't killing him the whole reason that they went to avenge? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When they showed him killing the agent. And then he's just like, yo, so, uh, yeah, you mean, you mean this kill, right? The one that they come back to slap you? <laughs> but it was all bullshit because he was alive anyway. Yeah, but, but, that, but they didn't know that, so that's why he was saying that. He was, like, he was alive? Yeah. Yeah, Coulson wasn't dead. And, well, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't reveal that yeah. he didn't die. In the I mean, show. I did see him go on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So yeah. the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is after? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is after. So that's when he re- when they revealed that he was never dead. Um, oh, wait, I think they, they also did kind of reveal it because uh, when he threw the cards, remember? When, um, damn, what happened here? Well, when Senator Jackson, about he about threw, the, threw the adventure card on it with blood, and then he goes, he, one of the girls is just like, yo, but those were in his locker. He's like, they needed a push. <laughs> they, they can put fake blood on it. And then, yeah, I'm like, he's I think, dead. I think I remember that, yeah. He's fucking dead. dead, he did he's this. Dead. He's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. Yeah. That was acting, acting. Exactly. <laughs> um, I will say, one thing that the show also made me realize is uh, this show lets you see between Owen Wilson and Luke Wilson which brother is the better brother. Because Owen got picked to do Marvel shows and Luke got picked to do DC shows. So you automatically know which brother is the better brother. And he didn't even know who Luke was. He was just sitting there like, who? I still say Luke because of Wolfsburg. I don't That's... even know who you're talking about. So the dude that was helping Luke <laughs> is Owen Wilson. <laughs> Owen Wilson, Zoolander, Zoolander, okay. hands. He was hands. The other, the other model. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's the, the, that's the cooler brother. Right. What? Who's See, <laughs> yo. So his brother is in uh, old school. That's what we were telling you before when we were watching the show. His, bro- his brother is in old school and a couple other movies. Both of them, both of them are on comic book shows right now. So Owen Wilson's on Loki, but Luke Wilson is on a show called Stargirl. Which is getting a little bit of run, a little bit of burn, you feel me? It's, it's there, but it ain't, it ain't there there. But that's why I said it shows you who's the cooler brother of the two. But you can keep with your Owen is better than Luke. I mean, Luke is oh, better than Owen. Oh, wow. yeah, I do know the other brother. <laughs> Just figure that. Let me Google my man's real quick. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke Wilson. Yeah, Luke Wilson. He always plays like a, a weird side role. I, he actually makes me laugh because he always sounds a little high. Like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that. Both of them, both of them have that vibe when they act. And then he was in Idiocracy, which is now one of the most eerily coincidental movies of all time. Because everybody thinks once Trump got elected, that movie basically predicted he was going to be president. More or less, yeah. More or less, yeah. I don't know what that movie. It's a movie where uh, this dude he time travels. So it was another time travel film. Right? Oh no, no, he wakes oh, up wait. in the future. Yes, right? where, where, um, with Terry, yeah, Terry Crews? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's stupid ass fucking movie. <laughs> They're drinking Mountain Dew and shit, <laughs> trying to water the plants in your mother. Baja Blast. Bro, that, yeah, that the movie, world was fucked. That movie's real life, right? Yeah, the movie was basically <laughs> in a sense what happened. Everybody was like, yo, this movie finally came real. And they're like, what? Oh, because man's got elected? All right, whatever. Yo. I don't see us watering plants with Mountain Dew, all right? That's, okay. that's five years in the future. That's five years in the future, bro. <laughs> That sperm killer is coming. <laughs> oh, nigga said the sperm killer. You, they never told you I was in high school? Yeah, nigga, oh. nutty, duh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you went to high school. I know you know. The classic. No, did the sperm killer. You to go to high school. I mean, <laughs> can you just grow up in the hood? He oh, didn't need to grow up. Mountain was a nutty. Nah, nah, nah. This thing is bugging. Mountain was not a nutty. It's not a nutty, but it was it was known as sperm killer. Nah, nutty was nah, nah, no. Nutty bro, was you, always those 50 that was, Yeah, bro, you crazy. No, I'm not, I'm not that saying that it wasn't nutty. I'm saying that it was similar. He, in my school, people said Mountain Dew was basically sperm killer. You went to a weird high school. Yeah, we did. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember Tropical Fantasy. Yeah, those. And remember the ones that like they look like little grenades? Oh, yeah, that's the 50 Cent Juices. No, it was like a quarter. Oh, the Chubbies? Yeah. What's the Chubbies? No, it wasn't Chubbies. Chubbies is fire. And if anyone can get me one right now, I will fucking... Yo, I'll buy the whole pack. <laughs> I'll buy the whole fucking pack. I'll give a fuck from the guy. A fucking Chubbies is fire. I haven't... Now that I think about it, I haven't even seen one on a shelf in dumb long by accident just sitting there. That's just like, um... Dungaroos, yo. Dungaroos is getting crazy out here. Dungaroos? Yeah, I have to see one of those in front. Yeah, exactly, because they're hard to come by. I went to 7 Eleven the other day, they had a shitload of them. And I was about to buy it, but I said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Which is trash, though. Why? 
Well, as fuck. There you go. <laughs> so <laughs> shit's <laughs> the trash. And hold on, I'm talking about my school ain't weird, man. That's just because you was the man in your school. Where's your school at? Well, oh, that's dead. I don't mean it was weird. It means dead. It was dead. Yeah, it was years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Where I rest my case. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's why I said that line. <laughs> Your school still standing? I don't know. <laughs> what school are you went to? Uh, Smith. He went to Alfred Smith. On uh, one forty nine. You know his legend still. You know he they, they has a, he's a legend in his school. His legend, school. folks. If you don't know, Aishan's legend still rings bells in his alma mater yeah, yeah. high school. Now I think I know what you're talking. There's about. a legendary story that one day, upon getting kicked out of his math class, he turned around. And threw the math book at the back of the teacher's head. Yeah, <laughs> that's some gangster shit. That nigga was trying to go down for assault. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah. well, that's not what happened. Just like the door, right? I got witnesses. Just like oh. the door. <laughs> no, similar, funny enough, it involved the door. Yeah. <laughs> that's, you, that's, that's the real story. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. He took that math book and pop. No, I used my legs. Man. See, I told you, you're a legend, bro. Don't let that fool you. I don't know, this nah, is, this is the AC just is, gave up. This is very hot. Right? Yeah, yo, it's hot so, outside, baby. Alfred E. Smith is still a school that's a lot right now. Uh, I don't know how. But check the uh, the Jorge Ramos math room. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> East One Fifty First Street. <laughs> the Jorge Ramos math room. Please check that for me. There's a math book on top of the wall from when you threw it at the teacher. Martin school is just one of those schools that uh, that it went through it. Sorry, right, man. We got we got Kemba Walker out of there. We got uh got, um, legendary, Lopez. legendary stories where what is it xbox getting smashed xbox got thrown down the steps in my school yes somebody did get mad i don't know what kids, kids they lost in kids getting thrown down the stairs. kids got thrown down the stairs in my school yes <laughs> kids um, got thrown down the stairs kid got the kid they threw a leopard jacket over him and they threw him down a flight of stairs that was a game that was real life. <laughs> there was no game. There was no game there. <laughs> and the worst part was, it was this, the, what do you call them? The stairs with the, the loop around, basically. Ooh. You want to step, stop. The spiral stairs. Yeah, the spiral stairs. So they threw him down, but then when he uh, tried to get up, they threw him back down. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. And then he's like, nah, we threw that nigga down three times. And I said, wait, what? Niggas was telling the story like, yo, they threw him down. So, they beat him up. So, so, so basically, somebody was went up on each floor. Yeah, so, so they go on each floor like, yo, what's yo. up, bro? It's the second floor, nigga. That's how, you, that's how you know you fucked up. Yeah, I was like, yo, that's how I met my best friend. I was in detention, and they brought the kid downstairs. He was crying, and then he was like, yo, let's do my beat staircase, yo. They go beat him up, they throw him down another flight. And I looked, I was looking around, I was like, please, somebody laugh with me on this. And I saw my best friend, that is now my best friend to this day. Shout out to my boy, Duo. I look at him, he looks at me, we're dying. <laughs> dying. I was like, yo, I didn't think anybody would find this shit funny. So shit happened, yo. Niggas threw an Xbox down a flight of steps, that's still live to this day. You know how mad you gotta yeah, be in the game to be like, what? If you're doing anything and you see any concert <laughs> thrown out of a window, staircase, I don't care what it is. You're stressed. If, you, if a nigga comes running out the door right after it, you cannot tell me you're not laughing, bro. If you got laughing, yeah, so it's wrong with whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you should be laughing and be like, damn, <laughs> damn, my nigga, what you do? No, 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 no. It was just a regular Xbox. Like, it was 360. It was something on What I'm oh. saying is just some rando from class. It'll be like, damn, that's, that's fucked up. But what made it so epic that yeah. it was a teacher's Xbox? Yeah, it was a teacher. Yeah, it wasn't a student. It was a teacher's Xbox. <laughs> so he used to bring it around, let people play games so or whatever. So the teacher received it. Man's had the 360, and this one, the 360 was... And somebody, and somebody said we do get live like the 360. Yeah, that, that Xbox, somebody 360. made somebody's Xbox do a 360. 360, bro. Yeah, it was real. So shout out to whoever was the assailant that did that. That was that was some low key assassin shit. Yeah, a lot of shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's anything worse than that. There's nothing really that can top that. Niggas still power raising. That was that's pretty good shit. I feel like I was out of the loop OD in high school with those type of things. I missed all that shit. Bro, you went to the school that Puffy went to, bro. Yeah, so that is, there was shit happening in there. I just was not, I don't know if I wasn't around it or if I just, I just was not caring because it never involved me. <laughs> you were doing street races with Toretto and Exactly. <laughs> I was on the Toretto squad. The Toretto squad. <laughs> you're like, yo, what's your whip like? Um, my school had very sus behavior. Yeah, because you threw a math book at a teacher. Uh, going into a behavior I never participated in. Oh. It was just too wild. So, 
since it was like 90% dudes, we treated it, people treated it like it was jail. This is like an all male population. This is where I'm going with the story. My school was all boys being too much to Asian. <laughs> uh, lucky your school, man. So it's, people it's, would treat it like, like it's about to be a gay ass story. It's about to be a sus story. Sus story. Sus story. So yeah, that's exactly where it's going. So since it was Continue. all dudes and they felt like it was prison, people would be like, yo, I'm taking your peanut butter. So they would literally hump the shit out of you Whoa. in front of everyone. Whoa. See? And it's, yeah. You got, you got Ray Denard there. That shit got dark. Wait. <laughs> Hell no. That was that was our school's behavior. That's, that's, why, you had to, that's why you had to throw a fucking book at a teacher. Dude. Yeah, I see why you threw a book at you a teacher. You had to let these niggas know that you yeah, was not with the shit. With the shit. And I was never caught. You was never caught with what? The book? Yeah, my oh, people were taken. Hey, yo! Yo! <laughs> don't have to say that again in your life. <laughs> my man! Talk about what the fuck is don't, going don't, on? Don't make it repeat. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're I right. just said the story. No, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Anthony is 100 percent right. You do not have to say another word, my friend. Don't. It's okay. What? That, no, that is what happened. No, you're right. No, you're I'm right. telling you a dark story that happened. Right. In school. I'm just going to keep telling people you do a math without a teacher. That's just like, normal. Yo. That sounds so much normal than the story you just told us. It's so much saying. Yo, nobody said my school was normal. <laughs> That's fine. But if we ever go to parties, don't don't lead off with that story. I've never told this story until now. Yeah, and now. The, <laughs> and the only other person who knows this story is Mike. Do you want me to edit this from the podcast? No, just leave it in there. All right. Now, maybe, why would you edit that? That's that's. that's maybe Mike will listen and start laughing. Like, yo, I, I remember that. No, there's a, there's somebody laughing. Don't worry, I'm making that. What <laughs> time is that? Uh, it's like Thirty time. minutes. <laughs> I bet. I, I can't wait till we get big, and we at Comic Con, and they're like, yo, I want to thank you, Jorge. Why? Because you gave me the strength to not give up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, why? Why are we running with this? <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a future line right there. Man. Um. So speaking of peanut butter to the death, yeah. yeah. Yo, stop it, <laughs> stop it, Bob. So you don't understand what you're saying. I know yeah. exactly what I'm saying. You never lived it, so thank God. <laughs> Shit, I'm saying that on behalf of my friend. Okay, so we do have to talk about somebody that took an L this week. Somebody that took a huge L, and we about just that fake fight. We want to send our thoughts and our prayers, uh, our condolences to uh, all the people who spent money on watching Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. I totally forgot that shit. Yeah. yeah. To everybody that spent fifty, to uh, sixty dollars. You call it's called what I like to call the number one word. It's been around for a long time in the hood, and it's called you got got. You got got. You I'll, got got. I'll drink to that. You got should, got. That should be another list. The you got got list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. Yeah. Coming soon. So it's gonna have like all we, we, all we gotta do is shrink basura and then put yeah, it in the spot for it. Right? We got a spot for it, bro. Don't worry. We're gonna put a picture of money and be like, you got got this. So that's definitely up there. Um, originally, I always thought that people who bought Sp- Spider Man Miles Morales got got, but that, that is even better. People, I send my thoughts and prayers to you people. You really thought that child was gonna see you. Some wall to wall, I don't know who to the that. last minute. Oof, bad enough you pay tickets to probably go, but that's different. But to buy it, ugh, I feel for you, man. That's basically what happened with his last fight. Or yeah, that is well, most of Mayweather's fights. No, not Mayweather, Logan Paul. I don't know if it was his last last fight, but he fought. Then he knocked somebody out like the first round. No, oh, that was his brother. Oh, I keep getting them two motherfuckers messed up. No, his. I don't remember if it was his last last fight, but he fought another YouTuber. Okay. And it basically the same thing. The fight ended in a draw, which everybody knew was going to happen. But it's po- that's what it's announced. That's the rules to the fight. There's no judges. It's an exhibition match. Yeah, this is different. This is a whole nother set. The rules if before the fight is literally no winner. Yeah, if you but don't get knocked the out. Reason, the, 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 this is why I think those guys are genius, though. Because they went to Floyd Mayweather who is probably, they're trying to start something where they, they make it seem like they're boxers, right? All right, cool. So they go to the world's best boxer and give him the biggest check, the one he's been asking for, $100 million. He did get $100 million. Yes, he did. Yeah, he got $100 million. He did get $100 million. Yeah, at the end of the day, oh, sure. he walked out with $100 million, million with 100 and Logan million. got like $250,000. Guar- mm-hmm. Guaranteed. Yeah. $100 million guaranteed. So they both came up. He walked away with $100 million, right? 
Floyd Weather, Floyd Mayweather gets a big paycheck, no loss. No loss. No Doesn't loss. Doesn't kill his record at all. Doesn't kill his record at all. It's literally like but he went into a sparring match this isn't, in a gym this where isn't everyone a was professional about them. Exactly, but no, hold on, listen, saying. listen, listen. Yeah. And then these dudes become now the two most trending brothers. Yep. So they're gonna get more money, more they're, sponsorships. They're getting more money as well. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yep. Is nothing compared to the sponsorships. Yeah. And all, they already had like seven plus million followers. Yeah. Right. And then on top of that, this nigga goes and puts a two hundred and fifty dollar Charizard first edition card on his neck. On his neck, right? Told people that he got it for a million. Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand. That was the first edition. That was the first edition. Yeah, what you're talking about holographic. Charizard. He, said, he said he got it for a from the first generation, right? Um, so he puts that. I remember he, he did buy a Charizard before, and it cost him like two fifty k. Yeah, I don't know this, if it's the same card. Yeah, yeah no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Most well, likely, it's the same card. Yeah, so he put it on his neck, right? Which yeah. makes a lot of sense, though, because what does rappers do? Rappers Born put they put diamond faces. Yeah. That are worth a hundred thousand dollars. All he did was put a fucking Pokemon card in a case that he paid two fifty k. Yeah, so it's the same equivalent, right? Yep. Where did he end? Now, what just happened is now he's getting a whole nother set of fucking clicks and trending yep. for us. Nothing, something that has nothing to do with boxing, bro. Yep. Pokemon nothing. Cards. As people who don't even care about his boxing was yep. like, yo, but did you see that he wore that fucking dope ass Charizard card? It's facts. It's facts. But he already did that. Though. Yeah, but yeah, he's, but he's, he's doing it again. the whole point of what they did, which is genius, is that they they're actually not famous, bro. They have they have money now, but they're not like they're not like Floyd Mayweather. Right? Floyd Mayweather has money; his name stands out for himself. He has a legacy because right? they're stuck on one platform. Yeah, so if they stop trending, what happens to them? They die. They're gonna die out. Yep, that's right. They're gonna die out. So they have to continue to be trending. They have to. They have to be the ones. That's like I don't feel like it's continue to be trending. I feel like it's trying to escape the platform that they're stuck on. Yeah, I mean the the platform that they're stuck on though is is the platform they kind of created. Like, but that's always the issue. Like, for any any influencer, they don't exist outside of their platform. They try and they always fail. But I mean, but, these two dudes are these two dudes are kind of famous now. Like they no, I'm saying they, like, they're yeah. trying. They're still trying. They're gonna keep going. Nothing's gonna stop them. But if they were, to, if they but were to ultimately, stop. if if they stop, if they, they stop, stop trying, like, people stop caring. Yeah. They still have their platform to fall back on. Yeah, he's right. What platform is that? They're, well, they were Viners, but yeah. now they're YouTubers. Yeah, YouTubers. So YouTube, you get bread. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to say. The, they're not gonna die on YouTube. They're they're they're, they're YouTube. I barely see anything about their YouTube videos anymore. The YouTube videos I see that they're making are them making fun of people that they're trying to get to fight them or promote their things. Because other than that, other than boxing right now and all the videos of them um, antagonizing people, being dumb, like playing jokes, mm -hmm. they're really not making good YouTube content anymore. They did it from the start. They, they, did, they, just, they, just, they just got lucky. One of them got super lucky. That nigga just did mass yeah, blitz the, on the train. The smart brother. Yo, he did mass blitz on the train. Like, even me, I didn't, I was just like, yo, this thing is wild. And I thought it was pretty funny because the way he would do it. And then to see them go to this big now, I'm like, how, bro? Because one copied the other. <laughs> That's how. I don't know, man. I feel like at the end of the day, I agree with everything and said it's like at the end of the day floyd had nothing to lose and they had everything and they to had gain. everything to gain everything so to gain he now as everybody the minute i watched espn the next day everybody was pumping it but the first thing they were saying was yo you went the distance with arguably one of the best boxers of all time that's also true though you had to respect him on that yeah he went the you, distance you can't he, respect him because you paid him a hundred million no, but it doesn't no, matter, no, bro. It doesn't no, matter. Talking about As a, on an athletic level. On an athletic level, you went. Yeah. What? Bro. Bro. bro yeah. A Con regular Con dude. didn't even go to distance one. Exactly. And a regular dude went to, who has him by 23 pounds. Yep. It's not, it's not a big. And he's younger than him. And he's younger than him. He's 18 years younger than him. He went, he went the whole distance the with whole him. The whole distance. And Floyd was really. He knocked him out. Floyd knocked him out at least once. And But they, they, that was, the funny shit is that he knocked him out and then. He cat Floyd catches, catches him, him yeah. and I think he did that on purpose. Yeah, that's because, what I'm saying. Is that yeah, I think it has something to do with the contract. If if he did knock them out, it was probably some kind of money loss or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because then it would be like, yo, you know, now their their trending would be a negative trending. It would be that they got knocked out. I should have looked up the betting numbers for if they went the distance. No, nah, was no there was no betting. I don't think for it because it was an exhibition, which means no winner. Damn. You can't bet a winner. Oh, Damn, loser. there had to be something. Oh, well. no, I just I just definitely agree with that. I feel like they to go the distance with one of the greatest boxers alive and survive it. When you know, and now had it been more of like there's judges and you know he lost by decision, he still would have got respect because they're like you still went the distance. And you didn't, you lost, but you lost on decision. So that's like, you don't feel bad. People, unless you're a fighter, most of the audience doesn't feel bad if you lose by decision. Because it's like, yo, you went the distance, you just ain't get rocked, and you ain't rocked the person. You know what I mean? It's like, that's still not safe. I'm not going to say that respect for him went up in my book, but I am going to say that no. he did what he had to do. You, you basically paid not to get knocked out. Yeah, he came up. No, I think, he, I think the kid was trying to knock him out. Yeah, he was trying to knock Floyd out. He it's just Floyd. Floyd. No, I'm saying Floyd not to knock him out. Oh, well, maybe. I think the rumor is true. I think Floyd I think, called I think, him. I, no, I saw the video. It de- he definitely caught him. How he recovered that fast, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was just like, oh, shit, this thing, oh, shit. Yeah, the smell of salt on the head. <laughs> Floyd probably was like, oh, it's called. It's called. It's called. It's called. You're going to mess up the money. He didn't pull the punch. He knocked him no, out. He rocked him. He rocked him. He, he, got him. he fell on Floyd's whole shoulder, and Floyd... Dead ass hugged him and had him on the shoulder like yep. standing up. Yeah. And any real boxing fight, the nigga would have let him go like and hit it. the ground. It's game. Why did he hold him up? Because the there was something about the something money. Something about the money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And something about the money, boy. He was like, I can make more if we go to if we go to distance. Yeah, that was the whole point. Tilt the cover down a little bit. You can't tilt the cover. Oh damn. Yeah. That's so wrong. I think the exhaust thing is disconnected. That's why I said. I don't think so. Yeah, we worry about that later. Anyway, it's just too hot. We worry God about damn that. it, America! Yeah, it's what it is. So, nah. shout out again. Our thoughts and our prayers to all the people who spent their money on that. I mean, you could have easily streamed it somewhere. I didn't watch shit of it, but yeah, I didn't either. No interest. I'm not saying take a risk and go to a sports bar, but I, 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 even where I was at, they were watching it. I still did. I watched like um, five minutes of it. I was like, yeah. Chad Ocho Cinco had was the opening fight. Chad Ocho Cinco had a fight? Yeah, he was the opening fight. Against who? I uh, forgot the guy's name. It's Sutton Maxwell. But he won. that guy won by decision. So Ocho Cinco won the distance. It was like three minute. It was like Maybe three, three two minute rounds, I think. Three two minute rounds? A yeah. six minute fight? Yeah, bro. You won. It's a guy in his first boxing match, bro. It's an amateur league, basically. Versus another guy who's probably like, yo, six minutes is nothing. Because Ocho Cinco was holding on, but you could see that he was like, Whereas the other guy, if he was tired after six minutes, then he never even been in a street fight. I mean, or at least a street fight where he didn't get beat up. Yeah, I was gonna say, have you you've seen most street fights, bro? Yeah, it's not them standing there kind of pacing themselves. They like, yeah, I swing it. It usually get washed in two minutes. Yeah, somebody get washed quick. See, I don't get washed, so that's why my fights last long. That's fine. (laughs) There's nothing wrong with that either. (laughs) I think he just wanted to plug that in, like I don't lose. That's far, bro. Uh, I'm not mad at that. Nah, that, he re- that really does sound bad, though. Two, two three-minute fight. Th- two, three-minute quarters. Rounds. 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 And, and he was with it. I mean, aren't you an NFL superstar? Yeah, but those are two different vibes, brother. He's not even an NFL superstar. I mean, he yeah, he's, NFL been out of the, he's been out of the NFL for years. He's a dummy. He's not a dummy. It's not easy to get on a team, bro, especially when talent keeps flooring in and there's younger talent. I mean, he, he, no, he's a dummy because he destroyed his own career. But. Well, he was good when he was in it, and then he, he, now he hasn't been in it for years. He still probably takes care of his body like any athlete, but at the same time, now you're jumping into a different sport that requires different movements, different time, all that. I don't know, man. I feel like they're turning boxing into a joke. Everybody's trying to be a boxer now. Well, boxing's been a joke. Well, boxing oh. hasn't... Well, I mean, once Floyd retired, no, not even before. I'm talking about, nah, not even before, even before Floyd. Maybe a little bit. Before. Nah, the biggest fights to watch were Floyd. He brought boxing into a bigger nation. No, no, man. No, yes, he did. Boxing was already dying when Floyd. Yeah, we're not to lie. That is Floyd true. did that not bring it up. The buy rate for Floyd versus Pacquiao and Floyd versus Conor were through the roof. They broke records. Yeah, because they were trying to bring it back. 
Floyd was trying to bring it back. It was already yes, dead. He did, and then he Conor retired was, after he fought Conor. Conor. Yeah. yeah, but it was still two of the biggest fighters in their sport. And the Conor, the Conor, the Conor Floyd, Bro, the Conor Floyd. Floyd shit was only dope and got so many watches because it was the first time ever a boxing UFC fighter. It didn't matter who fought in that. It could have been Canelo versus fucking BJ Penn, and it still would have been the biggest thing ever. It would not have been because they they've would. done they've done it UFC would. versus boxing in a buyer who sucked ass. UFC did UFC versus boxing who in the buyer. It was Dude, just like you said. It was boxing fighters and UFC fighters. fighters. No matter. You tried to. You We're said that about example, two, though. No, I'm saying two star players. Canelo's a star fighter. Yeah, well, they used some guys that I probably just didn't know. But they used guys that are known. But that's what I'm saying. They still did that. Now you're talking about the guy that everybody wanted to see yeah. lose when he was boxing versus a guy that everybody loved to see win when he's fighting. And, and then you saw Pacquiao. Everybody wanted Pacquiao to beat up Floyd Mayweather. Everybody that was not a Manny Pacquiao, um, yeah, excuse right. me, everybody that wasn't a Floyd fan wanted to see Floyd lose. Yeah, but what happened with that brother? It came and it gone. Floyd won. One man was not in his prime and the other one was just. It's not my problem. The buy rates don't care about it. Because they did it. That's what I'm trying they to say. They did it too late. I, I agree with what right. happened. No, Floyd, to be Floyd, fair, Floyd, if they did it when Pacquiao was more in his prime, that would have been through the roof. Yeah, it would have been even more through the roof, but it's still no, broke records. More. Through the roof. This is not bro, through the roof. It's still broke records. Bo- boxing, it broke records. I'm telling you. Before it it's it's too broke little, records. Too little, too late. The man brought the sport back. No, he did not. He did. No, he, did not. he did bring the sport maybe, back. Y'all can look it up. Maybe he gave uh, it I don't think so at all. quick rise real quick, but quick yeah. get down. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't mean you brought it back. That yeah. just means... Yep. Yeah, you shined on it for a second, and then the shine was over. Bring, Fact. Sounds bring a lot it, like bringing it back to No, me. it is not. Yeah. Bringing yes. it back means it's trending again. Yeah. yeah. Me and all of us will be talking about boxing, like, oh, who's the heavyweight champion? Oh, did you see this bout? Did you see this bout? No one was talking about boxing right after that. Yep, facts. That's, Boy, that's, me the that's somebody that's bringing it back while they're there. It's not his fault that when he leaves, it's not there. Not. Yeah, nigga, it's the same. It's for anybody. If you go by musicians, basketball players, wrestlers, anybody. If somebody brings it into a bigger light when they're there, they're bringing it back to where it once was or where it could have been. And then when they leave, if it leaves with them, then that means he was the reason it came back. It didn't leave with him. It, it didn't leave with him, because the only other time you cared about a fight was... Right after nah, the only other time you actually cared about a fight was Wilder versus uh, Fury. After those two fought, you didn't care too much about a fight, or Canelo versus, um, I forgot, I think it was... Uh, Alvarez or whatever, but yeah, I'm telling you, bro. But it's alright. He didn't bring it. Sorry, right. I don't believe it. I, I believe it already. Yeah. yeah, he didn't bring it back at all. He he just happened to be the, the most popular nigga at this time, so of course he was the one to watch. So what was the most talked about? And, what was the most talked about thing last week? What was the most talked about thing last week? Obviously, because it's Floyd Mayweather, the nigga who's undefeated. But he, he's not even bringing back boxing. Yeah, this isn't even the, a real boxing match. Yeah, he did not bring back boxing. Okay. More people were not there for Floyd. They were actually there because they wanted to see if this nigga was going to beat Floyd up. Yeah. <laughs> Which means they was there for Floyd. No, they was if not you, there for Floyd. The they same there reason him. people came for Pacquiao and Conor is the same reason people came for him, to see Floyd lose. You literally are naming three fights that were Floyd's oldest, his last fights. They were tr- all trash. Trash. Manny Pacquiao, like you said, and was, only, a, was at the bottom end of his career. It doesn't matter. Was why did you buy the fight? Only I, those was a I didn't buy the fight. No, no, I'm why, saying, but why did people buy the fight? Because people want to see Floyd Mayweather lose. That's what I'm saying. So they came to see but Floyd he, lose. But he's not bringing back boxing, though. Yeah, yeah. They literally are only watching because they want to see him lose. Those niggas who buy those cards, they don't even watch the pre-fights. They only watch that one fight. That doesn't matter to a buy rate of a, of a person who's selling it. It Yo, doesn't. But, that's all. That's all in it a is. Business the mindset. Whole, he he brought it literally, into a all you can say is that Floyd Mayweather is boxing. That's what you can say. Floyd Mayweather is boxing. The rest of the niggas, they're not doing that. Yeah, and all you're so, saying, all you're saying, really, is that he brought the numbers up. But that's yeah, it. That's, that's it. it. That's him, all you him, can really say. Him. But he's not bringing boxing yeah. back. Numbers went up, not boxing. Yeah. So if Drake, so if Drake comes out with an album, right, and Drake was the hottest, one of the hottest rappers in the decade, and there's no J Cole, there's no Kendrick, right, and Drake doesn't make an album for five years, and he comes back and makes an album, and the album blows up. Would you say he brought rap back? Or no, he was just saying rap is Drake. No, no, no. I would just say that he made a good album. Yeah, that's that's not the he same. Didn't bring, that's he didn't the bring. He didn't bring. Same thing as he did not bring rap. He did not bring rap back just because he made one good album. If he goes away for five years and there's no rap albums and rap is on a fucking flatline, and he makes an album and the rap sales that's like saying for every other album. That's like saying, let's like saying 
LeBron switches a bat- to a basketball team that's trash, right? He switches to a white basketball team. While he's there, they sell mad jerseys. When he leaves that team, all the fans leave. Did he bring the team back? Yes. No, he did not, nigga. Everyone left with LeBron. That's not what happened when he left the Cavs. Because Bro. they still got talent and they cared. They not they're they're a good team, but they didn't he they didn't he didn't bring the team back. He's just a good player on the team. He didn't he, bring the team back. When he, he got drafted, when he got drafted, the team went to the finals. And then when he left, the team was no dude. When he came back, the team went to the finals three times in a row. Yes, because he is nice. He doesn't bring he's not he doesn't bring you're not getting it. It's not like he makes it the most popular team of all time. He's literally popping because he's there. When he leaves, well, who are the Cavaliers? Who are they? Nobody. So, so that's, what, that's what we've been saying. You're caring more about the numbers than the actual popularity. They're nobody. Because, nigga, that's one and the same in a business No, sense. they're not. Yes, it is. They're completely I'm different. telling you, bro. No, they're the not. buy rates went it's just the like It's just like right now, right? The, num- the greatest thing ever, right? The Knicks fans are in full force, right? Okay. Because you guys have a good team. When you guys have a trash team, where the Knicks fans be at? They're there. You just hit it. <laughs> no, they're there, bro. No, the garden is still no. the garden is still moving. No, it ain't. It ain't, bro. The garden is still moving. It's the, they're, they're, it's moving, but they not. It's not like right now where it's sold out. So with the Knicks making the playoffs, what would you say? Then? No, the Knicks making the playoffs is good, but the, if if those three star players leave next season for you guys. Are the, are the Knicks going to be still selling out the stadium? Are niggas going to still? We don't know yet until we get on the court. We got to see what the team is. It's the same way as when you said LeBron left. When LeBron left the first time, what did they do? What did they do? They drafted Kyrie Irving, and the people started caring because Kyrie was nasty. They they, they did care a little bit. Yeah, but but, but, a, but, a, but a bunch of niggas uh, a bunch of niggas burned their cap their LeBron jerseys and bought new LeBron jerseys. <laughs> All right, man. All right, I'm gonna say. Hey, hey, that guy D says it was a really expensive hug session. Oh, I hope you didn't spend money on that, my brother. I hope you did not. Look, look what my boy said. Cavs are bums. Yes, that's right. Because <laughs> LeBron's not there anymore. You're right. There was a there was a there was a, a, a time period ago where niggas would never say Cavs are bums because LeBron was there. Where did somebody wrote Cavs are bums? D. He wrote that. He wrote the Cavs are bums, and then he said the Knicks till I die because he's a Knicks fan. Scroll all the way to the bottom, bro. Where you going to the top? Uh, he ready to bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey. Nah, nobody said that. Yo. Bro, we yeah, let, let me see. Let me see. Cavs are bums. Nah, I'm not. We see bro. That. We see that. Look. Yeah, two different looks. Nah, I got two different looks. Like, nah. <laughs> he, he, don't wrote that shit. he wrote that shit. I did not nah, write that. Hey, yo. Bro, it says <laughs> from D. Nah, 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 I see it. I see it. Nah, yeah, look. Nah, it says, I said facts. <laughs> He said, Cavs are bugs, nah, mix till I die, bro. Nah, you're out here making sure. Look, oh, look, he said it again, so you understand. <laughs> Facts, yo. That's my man, yo. That's my man, yo. Thank you, D. Thank you, D. Let's say it again, yo. Cavs are bugs. I'll play yo. it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it again. Yo, look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote this shit. She said, yo, hold that. Yeah. Yeah. How much you pay my man? Yo, you wrote it. You wrote it. You wrote it. You wrote it. You you say, yo, yo, yeah, right the, right right the caps is bumps, bro. Right the caps is bumps, bro. Right the caps is bumps, bro. Nah, you got chicken out here. Somebody that knows me, right back. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We said our piece, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, we, should, we should just ask him, yo, D, since you're there, you know what I'm saying? Do you think Floyd Mayweather brought boxing back? Do you think that he was... He, he, he was the one that was just like, yo, you know, people need to come and watch boxing. Or is it that niggas just watch Floyd Mayweather because it's Floyd Mayweather. And he has that fan base. And he has that, 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 uh, what you call it? That, um, Star yeah, that, that, no, the, the in, influence. He has that influence on people to be like, yo, I want to watch it. Yeah. Honestly, the influence he has on me is that I literally want to watch it to see him lose. And every time he he wins, I'm like, all right, he did a little bit better. He knocked that dude out and took the thing, but I don't think I don't think Floyd brought boxing back, bro. I really don't think that. He never did it, bro. He he was the end of boxing. I I agree with that. He was, so he when, was the end of boxing. When's the last time you really, really, really cared about boxing? When when Floyd was younger, okay. when Manny Pacquiao was younger, okay. and um when uh, they had the other dude too. There was um 
It was the homie that could take mad punches, bro. And he would get fucked up every time he would get punched in the I face. Think, I think literally the last time I cared about Hoya was, was it was it was a Mayweather fight and it was the guy that he got accused of sucker punching him. No, wait, you mean when Mayweather caught him when the ref like I think yeah, the, or something? He, the ref was like, if I was doing it, I'll beat your ass. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah. the last time you cared about boxing. Yeah. Yo, see? All right, that got these back on my good graces, because that was the last time I cared about boxing. What? When Tyson bit the nigga in. Damn. 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 See, was, see? That you was, tried to, that was that, that was, you, Now you're talking about the <laughs> fire of boxing. Yeah. Right? Boxing was in the yeah, park where every, was every, was every single house was watching the pay-per-view. Yeah, okay. you know? <laughs> that's, that's when you knew who the heavyweight champion was. Yeah, yeah, where? Right. That was where everybody knew. Now you can't even name, like, the... The last four. No, you I really can't. Mayweather was the champ. He's not a heavyweight, though. Not my problem. <laughs> yeah. I knew who he was. The, but there was the other one, man. Why can't I remember his name right now? It's not Canelo. It's the. It was a Spanish dude, Puerto Rican dude. He used to get. He, he was good for a while, and he was one of my favorites. He used to get punched in the face, and he would bleed so easily, bro. And he won. There was one fight where he got fucked up real bad, and he, they said he won the fight, but and I think it went to Floyd. I know it was a Japanese dude that fought. Yeah, who was that shit? Um, Let's look it up. You remember that guy, the Japanese dude? Yeah. But that wasn't even an exhibition. That, that wasn't even a professional fight either. That was just an exhibition. I was talking about my man Ipo. No, he really did fight Asian man. Yeah, he did. What about Ipo? He was not a person. <laughs> Mike Tyson fought Ipo. <laughs> Mike Tyson and Ipo do their hands. I don't care if that was a movie or not. It was, that was, that's not Ipo at all. That's, that's, that's him, man. That's him, man. <laughs> He's not even Japanese. <laughs> you're thing, right. You're right. The only thing you can say is Ipo stole Mike Tyson's style. <laughs> My man said bring back butter bean. You're right. No, that's, too, that's too old. You know? <laughs> My man takes it for Ipo. That's just ripped. <laughs> Don't worry, that exhibition's coming. Oh, oh man, that shit's crazy. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> oh. Let's, let's go into our facts or. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, people. It's that time. We got a very good one this week. We uh, sent it out to the fans first. So thanks to everybody who put their uh, opinions out there. Some people wrote us. Uh, we appreciate it. I did not let Anthony or Jorge see it, but Anthony ended up playing along anyway. <laughs> H-Son didn't see it because he still does not have an Instagram. That's okay. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do a special fact so fuck out of here. You got to put that plug in there. Yeah, we will. Okay. And it's more for Jorge than it is for Ant. <laughs> so... Um, Basically, what we did on this one, where it was, we did one where we talked about the fact that Netflix just announced that they canceled Jupiter's Legacy after only one season. That's great. Wow. That show, that show was busted. Okay, so that show was busted out of you. So, what ended up happening is, we I realized that Netflix, just take off your hat. No, no, I said I figured oh, it out. I figured it out. It was Miguel Cotto. Oh, Cotto. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cotto, 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 Cotto. was one of my favorite boxers. Yeah. And it was around the time as Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao and all of them. Cotto was one of my favorite fighters. Yeah, I was like, yo, is he hot? Because <laughs> he was like, no, 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 no. I was saying that I figured it out. It was Miguel Cotto. I, I don't I, I was like, I, I knew his name was Miguel, but I thought I was wrong. So that's why I didn't say it. Oh, I thought you figured out why <laughs> Miguel Cotto used to make me laugh, though, because you punched that nigga a couple times in the face and he would look like he got fucked up. He looked bad, nigga. That nigga looked like he was done so. But he was he was strong as fuck. And he and he had a good he had a good career at the beginning. Towards the end, I don't know, he just kinda lost it I guess, or he just had a couple of bad runs. Should be happening. Boxing is a hard sport. You get knocked out a couple of times, that shit fucks you up. Yep. Yep. So glad you got the my bad, by the No, no. You needed to Yeah, because I was like, yeah, what is this guy saying? Only, sometimes when it's more on your mind you wanna get it out, you know? Both. Uh, so, anyway, uh, with the facts we fuck out of here, what we did was, uh, I knew that there was a lot of other shows besides Jupiter's Legacy that got canceled after only like one season. Yeah. So we decided, I decided to get some shows that to see. That they deserve to get. There yeah. you go, my man. man. Yes, yes. Oh, so that's actually what we're talking about. So we're, ta we're doing our facts to fuck out of here. We were just talking about a little bit about Jupiter's Legacy and how it recently got canceled. So. You know, we're going to run through some shows that we thought shouldn't have got canceled, right? After, yes. After one season. After, after one, one season, season or more. I, I decided to be fair because there were some shows that 
didn't get to end, even if they wanted to end or whatever, that only had like two seasons, three seasons, whatever. Okay. And you were like, damn, I was really getting into this show. They just canceled it. <laughs> so um, thanks for re-explaining that for my people's aunt. The first show I chose was The Irregulars. It was canceled after just one season. Okay. Do you, right. you felt it should have got canceled? I watched the show. I thought it was kind of boring. Oh, never heard the show. It, it, so you've never premise, heard of it, that's facts. The premise of the show sounded, <laughs> wow. sounded interesting, but... When you watch the show, this is What's the premise of the show? So, it's kind of like uh, a Sherlock Holmes show. Like, there's these, like, group of, like, street kids, and they're, like, kind of under the flag of Sherlock Holmes. They, like, solve mysteries and shit, but they don't really work directly under him. He's in the show, but he's not really, like, the showrunner. It's just these kids, and they try to figure out mysteries or whatever. It sounds like a, that should have got canceled on the yeah, first the, season. <laughs> the kids, it's just the kids weren't interested. And, okay. And neither was Sherlock either. Okay. Was it, was it Robert Downey Jr.? Obviously not. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. That show. show was trash. Wow. Because the last Sherlock Holmes was Robert, Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Jr. did not make Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I know, but he fucking killed the last one, so that's the best one to me. Benedict was good. Benedict was better. Right? Benedict, Benedict come back was good. Doctor Strange, the guy who plays Doctor Strange, he did his own version of Sherlock, but a modern day Sherlock. Where was that at? Well, you can catch it on Netflix, bro. It's pretty good. Okay, What's it called? Sherlock. Just simply Sherlock. Oh, it's just one title. Maybe Every maybe episode is literally like a movie because it's like an hour to hour and a half long. Yeah. It's on Netflix? Dead serious. Oh, I gotta check that out. Yeah, I it's pretty good. I did it actually. But just That's give good. yourself time to watch it because, like I said, every episode yeah, is like those, those a movie. Bro. Long. They're long. No lies, but they're good. They're just long. I, I didn't even finish it because I was like, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> my, boy says, my boy D said that show was Cheeks, aka me the trash. The That's what they say now, Cheeks? No, he just said that. Oh, so, yeah, I was like, am I getting old, nigga? God damn. You are old, though, but. Thanks. He's talking about regulars? I'm, I believe he's talking about regulars. He's okay. like, I love mystery and horror films. Yep, so he's talking about it. Okay. Um, so you felt you felt facts that should have gotten canceled. Yeah. Um, you felt. That it sounds like it should got canceled. It should have got canceled just, just from the description. Right. Now, be mindful. If you never heard of the show, I like never Sherlock watched Holmes. it. Yeah, it's okay. But if you never heard of the show, never I watched it. a smoking it. pipe named Sherlock Holmes. Yes, I remember. It's fair to say that you can say it deserved to get canceled because you didn't care to watch it. And that's okay. Not to be bad or nothing. But um, 17 people uh, agreed that the show should have been deserving to grow. Um, no, 17 people agreed that it should have got canceled. 83% said it shouldn't have got canceled. Right. 83%. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's, some, there's, some, there's some mystery fans out there. Yeah. So, next up, I chose Turn Up Charlie, which was a Netflix show starring Idris Elba. It got canceled after one season. It was about Idris Elba playing a DJ in London who ended up getting down. pretty yeah. popping. That shit should have went another season. You really? You feel that way? I thought that shit was fine. You liked it? Okay. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I felt that way in the beginning. But over time, not fast. It got boring, right? It, it deserved to get canceled. Well, I did, I did, it did get boring. It did get boring. When I, when, I, that, when I first finished watching the season, I was like, yeah, this shit should get another season. What made it boring for you? Was it the bratty white kid? It's just, it had no substance. Yeah, it was just the bratty white kid. You had the chip from Coyote Ugly, and she's always in it. She's oh, yeah. Well, man. Ooh. She couldn't save the show. Okay. But it had my bean in it, yo, the Indian dude. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. or Pakistani. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man will be in it. Got some people in it. So, Turner Charlie, if y'all never saw it, watch it. These are all shows on Netflix, people. So, if you feel like, let me watch it one day and see if it should have got canceled, feel free. You go write us back and be like, yo, y'all was what? Y'all was bugging that shit should have got canceled. You know, what was the percentage on that one? So, uh, 56 people felt that it shouldn't, um, they felt that it was facts that it shouldn't have been that trash to get canceled. 56 people. 56% of people, while 44% no, it was trash enough. So 44% of people was with you. But I also was like, uh, Ant, I actually liked the show. There was some moments like Ant where I got like bored. Uh, towards the end when they tried to fill that conflict where it was like, yo, you was, you was cheating on my, you was cheating on me, whatever. Yeah, it was mad. Yeah, it was like, yo, that wasn't necessary. I really did, I ain't gonna front, I really did think he, I thought he was gonna smash. Um, especially when they got drunk and they was laying next to each other. I was like, oh, he about to fight. <laughs> well, then it happened, and I was like, all right, whatever. And then he got famous dumb quick, so I was like, yo, they kind of just ran through this shit in one season. <laughs> Basically, yeah. They, they gave my man a chance to, like, grow, 
they just was like, nah, you're already famous, bro. I was like, um, so is the show over? Or? <laughs> like, you already faced turmoil. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah. Going down the exactly. <laughs> uh, next show, The Get Down. A show about uh, the Bronx back in the day. Honestly, never, a rap. I never watched the show. Never cared for it? Never watched it. Either. Never cared for it. So, uh, if you guys didn't see it, it was it got rave reviews. It had an all-star cast. Uh, the guy who voiced Miles Morales was in it. The, uh, the black kid from Detective Pikachu was in it. A lot of different people of color was in it. That's where he's from. That is where he's yeah. from. I'm like, like, yo, this kid looks mad familiar. Yeah. I was like, do I know him? That's one of the uh, ways you saw him. And yeah, uh, 33% of people felt it should have been dropped, while 67% felt it should have been dropped. Mm -hmm. So they were primed for another season. They had one in the chamber, but Netflix was like, fuck out of here. Next, Glow. The show about women's wrestling. Another show I never watched. Really? You miss some naked titties. Yeah, that's nice titties. Nice titties. Well, early, early seasons. I'll have them talk. I would have said it definitely deserved it. But the last season, I felt like, yeah, the, the magic was gone. Really? Yeah. Especially even when they hired that, that cute Latino chick? Latino chick? Mm, she couldn't save the show. Why? Even this chick, what's her name? Shakira Rivera? She's. Oh, I'm not talking about her. Oh. This lady, what's her name again? Betty Gilpin? Yes. Even when they Betty showed her titties in the last season, it wasn't enough to shape the show. Coming from where you was coming from with, with the third chick, this was, this was a show right for you, bro. Um, her titties were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, read, I read the description for the show, I'm like, they were glorious. Well, the crazy thing was, season four was supposed to be the last season, and Netflix was like, they was like, we're show that I can't show in one season. No, I, I said also, I said I gave it, it was fair, right? I said I gave it two to three seasons. I, I really said that. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, I said that. He said that. I was up. At, <laughs> at first, that's what I thought, but he was like, no, shows that even though they got a couple seasons, they got, yeah. They got canceled prematurely. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, the sad thing about Glow was Glow was primed to end after his fourth season, and Netflix was like, nah, you good. <laughs> so... 64% of people felt that Netflix should have held off for the last season, while 36% said, nah, it was a wrap. Next show, Daybreak. Daybreak, the show about teenagers living on an island, and they basically ran the island, and yeah. I never watched that show, but I said facts. Hours or whatever. You said, so like, okay? It just looks dumb. Okay. 36% uh, said facts, 64% said fuck out of here. i never seen that show. Either. So I never saw half of these shows on this list. So it's going to be a lot of facts for Anthony. So next show, Hoops, an animated show about a, a struggling teacher, basketball coach, trying to make it in his high school, trying to keep his job. He went to great lengths. So this is what I did, because I felt bad with this show. I thought that Daybreak, which was good. See, so he knew the vibes. So I put this, you probably saw it when you were voting. I put this so people could probably feel a little more comfortable with this cartoon. Uh, I put, fun fact, the pilot episode of this show involved the coach trying to recruit a tall high school student to his team by getting him laid by a prostitute. That was the first episode of the show. And that was the episode where I said, I am good. <laughs> I gotta watch that show. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, I'm interested in that. I gotta watch that show. First episode, the, first teacher, episode. the teacher trying to get his fucking student, fucking, what do you call that, player, Laid by a prostitute. No, he wasn't a player on the team yet, because the guy was like, "Well, I, I've never done things in my life. I never like, I never lost my virginity, da da da." I'm getting older, and the, the coach was like, "Yo, if I help you lose your virginity, will you play on the team?" He was like, "I mean, I guess." So the, the guy was like, "Say less." He knew a prostitute already that he'd be fucking with. He was like, "Yo, I need you to bless me. <laughs> Fuck this kid. I'll pay you whatever." And Where you should watch the show. These are all on Netflix, bro. Hoops. That's on Netflix. Yeah, dead ass. I mean, why am I Big Mouse on Netflix? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Mouse off yeah. out of control. The show looks kind of like Rick and Morty a little bit, but it's just, it's it's insane either way. Uh, 67 people felt it should have got canceled, while 33%, <laughs> whoever was like, yo, he got laid by a prostitute, hold on, like, hey, they would have just said, nah. Um, next, Ant's personal favorite wrestler, The Big Show Show. Oh, yeah, that I was got canceled for one season. I got canceled for one season. Uh, this show had Urkel as his best friend. And he had several other Hall of Fame wrestlers in it, like Rikishi, Mankind, and Mark Henry. And that is, that is why I say facts. <laughs> okay. 27% said facts. 73% said fuck out of here. 
That should not be. No, I'm sorry. I asked, did it need another season? And 27% said it needed another season, while 73% said it did not. Somebody voted for it, and I was like, yo, we were good. I don't understand. Like, uh, yeah, uh, what was going on there? So uh, we had a couple other ones. We had Dead to Me. Did you see Dead to Me? Yeah, you literally picked a bunch of things I had no idea what they were. I'm so sorry, my brother. I've seen Dead to Me. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm sorry. I don't think it deserved another season. Really? Even the way it ended? Yeah, I feel like it told the whole story. It was really good. I, I agree. It was a good. Sh- it was a good what show. What was it about? Um, basically, there's these two women. One of them is like like a mourning widow, and then she befriends this lady, and the lady is the reason why she's a widow. Mm-hmm. And so there's just this whole mystery of like, oh, should I tell her? Should I not tell her? And then mm-hmm. a bigger mystery happens. Yep. So they're here just basically trying to cover up what happened. And then the end of the season. Yeah, I must be out the loop. Dean, the, Dean yeah. said that Dead to Me was good during season one. Yeah. Season two was what? Really? I love the way season two ended. Yeah, I liked season two better than season one. Yeah, I thought season two was amazing. All right, well, okay. Yeah, that's probably why we were at where we at. It was a, a line in the middle. So that show got canceled, unfortunately. I, I just hope. I just love what's her name. Which one? Christina Applegate or no, I Christina Applegate. Uh, I forgot her name. Yeah. She's good. The freaks uh, Linda. The freaks Linda. Linda. <laughs> Carter. Wow. Yeah, she said that earlier. What? You should have said. You should have said that way earlier. He said. He said we should have took shots for every show. I didn't know. <laughs> 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 we would have been wasted. Right yeah, we would have been wasted. Next time. Uh, <laughs> so um, that one was forty-four percent felt. I said, was Netflix rolling for respect by canceling it? 44% say yes, facts. 56% said fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Next. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I'm divided on that one. Divided, right? Yeah. See, me too. Uh, next, the Joe McHale show with Joe McHale. I never watched Which is basically the suit. We watched it. Remember I showed it? I don't remember. <laughs> did I show it? I felt like I did. It was basically like the suit. I the heard it, yeah. Yeah. I never really watched so it. So it was a show where they showed like different things from reality shows and viral videos and he made fun of it. Nope, it was not having a life. So was Netflix right to give this show one season? And the question is, who's Joe McHale? That's it. <laughs> oh, yo, you, oh, I, I did see that. Um, the one to be Tosh for no. Well, he was doing it first. He did it before Tosh. Yeah, he did it with. He Tosh. was doing it before Tosh. I'm oh, swear He yeah. did it with the suit before Tosh became the thing. Oh, the and suit. he was way yeah. funnier. He was way funnier than Tosh. The suit was pretty funny. Yeah. And he was he was way funnier than Tosh. Yeah. I see, but I've seen clips. I've only seen clips. I never That's watched okay. the show. It's basically the same thing on Netflix, but he was cursing and shit like that. He had more guest stars or whatever. But Netflix was like, nah, you know, Dr. Gupta in the motherfucking Doctor of Gupta. Uh, So, facts, they felt Netflix was right to give this one season. 36% said facts, 64% said fuck out of here. Hopefully, this went and saw The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Canceled after four seasons. No. I've never watched it either. This shit. Sabrina, teenage witch. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. No, but it's another. It's like it's like a yeah, darker, yeah, a darker, darker version. version. Yeah. Oh no, I didn't watch that. But my little cousin did tell me a couple of times like, "Yo, you should watch it's it." Wildly popular. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm good. Was it deserved to get canceled? Facts: thirty-three percent. Fuck out of here, sixty-seven. He said that was a great show. Yeah, I'm not. I might give it a chance now. Yeah. Um, I I like his his opinion on shows. He usually gives me good movies. They're fucking scary as fuck, but they're good movies. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, uh, our boy, Orlando. He actually was a fan of this show. So he, he felt really bad when the show got canceled because he's waiting for the next season. Okay, so uh, we got one last show. I'm the next season. And I'm 100% certain that Ant saw this show. Whoa. American Van. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. The show where they try to investigate why there was a kid drawing dicks on the what was it on the on the on the school property? I think something like that. But that was just just to give him yeah. a glimpse. That, that was, was no, that season was one was the one that started it all, and then season two was about poop and it was Bro, black. What don't you get? I, don't, I, don't I watch even, mad cartoons in my free time. <laughs> I don't even understand how I got a second season to be honest. Yeah, me neither. And then if I barely watch TV to begin with, I really watch movies at most on TV shows. Mm-hmm. If I am watching TV. And if it's not a movie on, then it's definitely an anime. Definitely an anime. 
I fall asleep on 90% of the days because I only watch TV at like 3 in the fucking morning. Bro. Okay. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, was, was, was Netflix fan to cancel it? Facts 44%. Fuck out of here, 56. Dick teach his cars with American vandals. There we go. He was right. He was right. That's basically what was going on. So, um, it was basically, yep, I, I don't swear know. to you. I guess bro. I watched trash. No, it wasn't the greatest literally show. Literally, all of that list, I didn't even watch. There was only, not one of those shows I watched. Literally, not one of them. I'll say, like, Corey, the first season is where they should have just went with it. Yeah, because true. it was literally just about somebody that was drawing dicks on teachers' cars. It was wilding. He was super bad in it? Not really. Oh, I get what he's saying. In a sense, yeah, yeah. We were drawing the dicks. He he, he drew the dick tank. Drawing mad random dicks and shit. So it was similar to that, but they were trying to find out who did it. Then they caught this girl at the end, but it was really this other dude that that was like a prime suspect. So at the end, he was like, yeah, you know, it wasn't me, da, da, da. I got, you know, I didn't do nothing. And then they found out that one of the teachers, like later in 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 the last episode, one of the teachers was like, yo, somebody vandalized my property and he drew a dick on it. And then he was like, man, I wasn't there, it wasn't me, da da da. And then somebody goes, yo, uh, you know her property has mad cameras on it, right? And then he was like, fuck. <laughs> and they just showed him, they showed him on camera like this, just drawing mad dicks on his shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it wasn't the way he did, he was just sitting back, he laid back like, fuck. And I was like, yeah, it's over for this man. That's a destroy his fire. That guy D also says, bring back Santa Clara diet. I was actually thinking about putting that on the list. I'm not going to lie to Santa you. Santa Clara diet, I did see. I was actually thinking I about putting that on the list. Out of all the shows, that one was the one. <laughs> I saw like some of it. Oh, I shit. I saw some of it. He saw it. I saw like, the, like, I I saw, saw, like two or three episodes in. I saw like both in two seasons. I, I can't remember that much about it, but I, I know that I did watch like it was dumb, but it was alright. I watched like I remember watching like three episodes because it was so hyped up that I was just like, ah, yeah, fuck it. It was, it was hyped up. But he saw two or three more episodes than mo- most or all of the shows we just said on here. So <laughs> yeah, something, was right? American, oh, wow. American Vandals I've never heard of, and there was dicks drawn in it. Yeah, I don't know how you didn't hear about that. That was pretty popular. I was watching Community. Okay, that's fair. Not at that time. <laughs> he said, that guy needs to you gotta watch a Smacked. So, which we can say about a lot of shows. I mean, do I ever not walk around Smacked? Is the question. He's Smacked right now. That's probably why you don't watch the show so much. <laughs> <laughs> you be forgetting shit. What was that show I was gonna watch? Uh, <laughs> and they just go, I just go back to American show. Community. <laughs> <laughs> now, I really be trying to watch shows people suggest to me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. But um, I'm really not, I really am not on that much to watch TV. Like, I'm not. Okay. So, there's nothing wrong with that. I try, I try my best. I be bullshitting on the street too much. You out here living life, brother. That's a fact. And it's wrong not in my bedroom. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm watching on your phone, though. Who Why the fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I, you, you, you're saying I'm right because I do be trying to watch some anime while I smoke blunts in my car sometimes. But I remember you used to do that. No, I, I still do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I think somebody caught us one time. Did you hear me earlier when I was smoking? I was like, damn, I remember when I used to be smoking with my friends. Now I'm just all alone. <laughs> I'm standing here by myself. Oh, I didn't hear that. I was just like, hurry up. <laughs> Yeah, let's not smoke one of two things. Yeah. <laughs> and then and you know what you know what my next thought after that was? It's in awkward silence to myself. I was like, maybe I'm fucking up with life. <laughs> oh, Don't do that. It was like more weed for me. No, no, more weed for me though. Let me hit some more. <laughs> I what the that. fuck was I just thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was we were in front of his house in my car and we were smoking a while back and we're sitting there watching anime and I'm like yo you gotta see this fight you gotta see this fight so I'm putting them on the different fights mm-hmm. and they're just sitting there like oh shit's good and some people walk past and I, I swore one of them was like yo he said he's watch cartoons and we were just like oh <laughs> yeah I remember that I remember that I remember that yo we were smoking and we had this shit through the car speakers so the volume was kind of up and the fight and we was watching a one piece fight yep we were watching one of these fights, right? And two things was just walking on the sidewalk, and yo, all because the window was open because we were smoking. All you heard was, "Yo, these niggas is watching cartoons." I was like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" It was like, it was like 
Man, I, like, you know, I didn't care. I was sitting there like, I guess, but a, a part of me was a little embarrassed, like shit. But it, all I heard was they were like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Things cool to say. He had a basketball video to watch or something. It's a rap video, yeah. but yeah, put another clip on. Put another clip. Yeah, we just let, we had to take the L at that point. Like he saw yeah. enough. I, I do. I else. damn remember that shit. You I was right in front of my yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was in front of my house. It was the best thing to do, yo. Yeah. You're just like in the zone and you smacked and you just like they go whatever way they're fighting. It's just like man, it's intense. The animation, all that shit. So, said, yeah, hey, fuck it. These niggas watching cartoons. Like, they watching cartoons. Bro? He said that loud as fuck. Mad dude. loud. Him and his boy, they walked up the next five houses roasting us. Yeah, yeah they wanted <laughs> us to know. Like, he grown ass men. I'm like, yeah, right. nigga. Then we was trapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even reading. And they watching cartoons. And they watching cartoons, bro. The red niggas. Woo. <laughs> Reggie. Lots of dookie. <laughs> it's like, y'all niggas smoking them Reggie's. Reggie's, boy. Jorge, it has been, uh, I think, close to a month. I need to, I need a farming update, yo. What happened to Resident Evil Village? Uh, nigga, what? <laughs> that, that nigga Ben told you to stop playing that. Yeah, I, want to see, still... I want to see there's a glimmer of hope now that he got a PS5. Nah, nah. Yo, that is exactly why it died altogether. Yeah. You didn't want to get the better graphics on the file? A little enhancement? That no. shit is done. No, this I is why I'm talking about that I game. did it, because... It's a clean slate on the PS5. All my progress is still on PS4. I wanted to see if he wasn't a quitter. Nah, man, it's over. That that is, I, would, I would never put another fucking like 30, 40 yeah, hours into this game. That shit is gone, yeah. though, man. Yeah. All right, you try. <laughs> I was going to say to everybody. Are <laughs> oh, you quitting? Uh, whatever. I did my time. All right, you did your time, so you're good. I ain't mad at that. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh. Back to, so just to bring up something real quick that you said last week about how U.S. comic books were always trying to go with virus, diversity and stuff of that mm -hmm. nature, it's just been announced that Issa Rae was cast to play Spider-Woman in the uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 movie, and the universe lost their minds. They were mad that she's black playing a white Spider-Woman. I don't know, to me, Spider-Woman was always kind of black. Spider-Woman was that She's the she's the the one in red, the one that's like a a spy or like some kind of soldier. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Wait, Spider Woman from where? She's, she's from Marvel. Second. Hold on, we lost the train of thought for a second. That's not wait from wait, from the no, I did. Is it from the Spider Universe? Oh, the cannon's got me muffled. From, yeah. the, from, from the, the Spider Verse, so they're gonna bring out more Spider Mans in this one. Okay, and one of them is like gonna she, be Spider Woman. She's directly from the Spider Verse. She's just in the Marvel Universe in general. Well, yeah, she's going to be in this movie. So I don't remember a female Spider-Man at all. Well, in the well, first other one, there's Spider-Man. And the, the, one, the, the one that wears the, the white suit. Yeah, there's, that's Spider-Man. There's, the there's a bunch of them. Except yeah. the red one is the most famous one. Because she is a badass. She makes this. Oh, wow. she's a white lady. We just, <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> ah, just, how did we get there? <laughs> uh, yeah, so she... He's already going to do that, and... Uh, in, in the movie Eternals, and it's not knocking at anything, in the movie Eternals, there will be I a gay couple. I have never seen this fucking character in so, my life. So this phase, this new phase of Marvel is more of a diversity shift. Because there's now you got oh, the it's Shang. Not, it's not just uh, Marvel. A lot of them. No, a lot of them. But she I, got I, pregnant? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that one, yeah. I don't remember. I don't know if that's the one that East is playing, but no, I was no, like. No. I, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, I might be wrong. But I'm thinking it's the. The classic spider Is this No. No. That's the one you got before, I think, was the one. Yeah, it's the one. It's this one. Or you can just type in Issa Rae as spider This one? The red one. Well, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Yeah. I don't know where you found that one. Yeah, like, but anyway, uh, while Ant's doing it, I just wanted to bring out this one. This one. That one, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. So I that, that's the one um, that she's going to play. And people are mad about that. Even though there was a spider woman back in the day that was that had an afro and was black. Who's gonna play? Issa Rae from Insecure. Oh, I like that show. And, and I like go. that chick. There you go. So she's gonna yeah. be in it. I would say that would be a good fit. I think that's a great fit. But this is the yeah, moves that they're making. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, we are going to cap it here with our sleeper picks of the week. Cap, 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 cap. Right, before it. that, I was also gonna say like, oh, oh, oh no, oh. going going a little more into it. Uh, like, uh, there was another comic that was announced, The, the Sandman, that's okay. going to be on Netflix. Uh -huh. And people were a little, not outraged, but like, what they were just felt like, what was the point of like, 
they showed the cast mm -hmm. and they like put their gender pronouns for them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it made sense because the, the whole point of the comic is, you know, gender fluid characters mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But people just didn't really see the point in announcing, you know, gender pronouns on the the actors. Okay. Me, I, I felt the same way. It's like it doesn't really add anything to the show. I understand that that's a part of the universe, but me, who doesn't really know anything about the universe, I don't really need to know that unless I'm watching the show. So I understand why people would just felt like, why? Like, what are, what message are you really trying to spread that for people not to watch your show? Or it's over. Well, I don't know. Time will tell. Let's see if you this, are so correct. Let's see if the show will be, you know, facts and fuck out of here. Ooh, Chase, the Chainsaw Chainsaw show coming out too. Chainsaw. Yeah, movie. yeah. No, really. but something's coming out earlier, and that's uh, Ragnarok. That's right. Ragnarok should be out more Ragnarok, I think, this month. Ragnarok, 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 yeah. Ragnarok yeah. June seventeenth. Yeah, so there's, there's another a show movie called Ragnarok. Called Ragnarok. Called yeah. Oh, there's yes. a movie. Yeah, there's a show called Ragnarok. Yeah. 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 And then there's a movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> trash. That show's actually pretty good. <laughs> there's, a, there's a movie <laughs> called Ragnarok that's also trash. The movie I don't know. The show is actually pretty good. He said no. So, I <laughs> sleeper picks of the week. Because we've already been going back and forth about mass subjects today. Yeah. My sleeper pick of the week is. Um, What's your sleeper you pick? Oh, oh, yeah, because you said we. I thought we had a group sleeper pick. I was like, I know, okay, okay. We, we have chosen. Let <laughs> <laughs> me start first. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will go with anime. Okay. Um, Psychopaths. That has been one of my favorite shows for a while. Psychopaths. I remember that. Psychopaths? Psychopaths. 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 It's like a futuristic show where... It's not her. Don't they have guns? They yeah, where criminals are judged. So that makes them psychopaths? No, no, they wear suits and they have like yeah, futuristic yeah, yeah. guns. They're cops, yeah. That they're, shoot they're like cops. Oh yeah, watch, that shit was fire. That shit was fire. Yeah, that's a dope show. It is a dope show. The main chick is a, the... the the main chick of the show is like training, but yeah, she's mad smart at the time or something. Yeah, like she she's special because like they go by like this color scheme. Like if you're in the red, then you're potentially a criminal and you have to be put down yeah. or, or arrested. And hers was always clear, no matter what. Even if she's doing evil, it'll still show as clear. So she's like she breaks the system basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was actually a good show. Yeah, it was a pretty good show. show. Uh, we'll, I'll go with a sleeper pick because we actually talked about it a little bit and it reminded me. Um, Insecure. That show is low-key, stupid, funny, and dope. It's a, it's more on the girl side, honestly. It's a, more of a female flick show. But I did get to watch it with a couple of different friends and I, I was like, yo, the show is I. Like, I, 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 I watched it enough that I don't think I'm fully caught up, but I'm 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 pretty deep in it. Like I, if I were to go back now, I'm probably like three episodes from the end. I just never really cared that much to finish it. But it's it's a it is a good show. You can def, I think that some it's it has low key hood jokes in it. A yeah. lot of well, a lot of yeah. It's yeah. A, it's it leans more to the hood. Yeah. So it's a lot more relatable and it's like I said, it's from the girl aspect, but it's still pretty dope though. It's yeah. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty dope show, for mm -hmm. sure. Well, next season is the last season, so mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And it's a shame to see it go, but um, proud of the people that came off that show and the success that they've had individually and as a show. So, hoping for big things. They, they keep getting screwed out of the Emmy, but that's most black shows, so it is what it is. So, anyway, I am going to go with since you were more in the sense of a, a, a women's show, I'm going to kind of match your energy there. And I'm going to choose the show Girls 5 Ever. I saw it on Peacock. It's fucking hilarious. Um, it's another show that's produced. I'm pretty like Tina Fey had more of a hand in it than just producing. Mm -hmm. But she's, I would say, 3-0 now. Probably 4-0. Four, four because she did Dirty Rock. She did Great News. She did The Unbreakable with Kimmy Schmidt. And she's done this show. Kimmy Schmidt, you know. Yeah, that's cool. I, I want to know where you guys get all this time to watch all these After shows. Season one, it was like, hey, Tom, you don't call this the show? That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't call people the show that I know are going to dub me, so. You don't dub you? 
We we'll be okay. here waiting for you. Oh yeah, yeah. So you pull up to the boat. If I say yo, come to the boat. I was waiting for you on Sunday, but you know, you was waiting on Sunday to go to Best Buy. Right. And what did you say? I was chilling. <laughs> That's not what you said. We gonna look at the phone later. Nah, I, I said I was busy, but I was busy. Busy having boat. fun without me. Yeah, right. On a boat. I'm over. I'm over here thinking you have a daddy, daddy daughter time and shit. I was actually supposed to be doing that. Oh. <laughs> But then she got caught up, and then I went and did my own thing. And then when she was ready, I was caught up. So yeah, she was like, "Daddy, I'm ready. I'm on the boat." It's like, oh my bad. On the boat. But man. I made it up to her, so you know, don't be trying to play me. Nobody trying to play you. I'm just saying. I was like, "Oh, he's just doing the dad thing. I'm gonna let him rock. He deserves." She dumped me. Though. My daughter came on so, Saturday. She came and she was just like chilling with me on Saturday, and she's like, "Yo, can you take me home?" I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought he was gonna sleep over. She's like, yeah, you know, it's kind of boring. I was like, yo, that hurt you. I've never been shot so hard before. <laughs> bang, bang. Bang, bang. I shot you down. Bang, bang. bang, bang. bang. So, anyway, while, uh, while Anthony was on the boat having Tommy was life at the Lonely Island, I was watching Girls Pop Ever because it was uh, like eight episodes. I was able to run through it pretty fast. But it was a great show. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's on Peacock. Check it out. It's pretty funny. It's about uh, a group of women who had a, a really popular girl band back in the 90s, 2000s, and they blew up. But then, unfortunately, like most people uh, in entertainment, they fall down and they fall hard. And they're now middle-aged women who are just going through rough times in their lives. But they try again to bring the group back in their 40s. Two of them got kids. One of them is just, her body's just not the same anymore physically. And the other one is bad, but the fame went to her head and nobody cares about her. Anymore. So I will say it is a funny fucking show. Um, the black lady, I forgot her name, but she steals the fucking show. Uh, the guy from the Allstate commercials is in it. Remember that white guy to be like, I'm your car's muffler. Oh, that guy? Yeah, that guy. I thought you were talking about the black guy. Oh, no, not the black guy. The white guy. The one that was holding the old stick yeah. down before the black guy came in. Mayhem? I think that's his name. Yeah, where he would just be wilding out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm your car's this. Watch what happens. I'm a raccoon. Yeah. I'm punching your windows out. You're like, God damn. <laughs> that was Gangster. That was Gangster. I always liked the fact that he did it to anybody. It didn't matter who. Black, <laughs> white, it didn't matter. You know, you just had to look at your car like, yo, this dude. Oh, it's in my car. Nobody called the cops. And he had to stay. And he, that was where his alibis every commercial. He'd be like, What are you doing? I'm your car's muffler. What? what? Yeah, I'm just, I'm your car's muffler. Your car's fucked up. Shit, I need insurance. You damn right you do. Like, <laughs> got that nigga, I'm out. <laughs> Fucking up cars and I got my alibis, baby. Let's get it. Like, here's the agent. Yeah. Go talk to him. You notice that, right? The white dude was able to do that. But once the black dude came, he never did commercials like that. <laughs> <laughs> he just stood there and was like, yo, all states gonna hold you down. That's it. That's a fact. Because <laughs> you know he's gonna get shot up. He know he's gonna get shot up. Uh, all state was like, yo, why? Because they know if they did that, they'll be like, why you making a black guy break in the car? Break the car. Yo, my man. <laughs> my man, what are you doing? All states are great. No, it's not. You about to go to jail, B. You see, just the cop car pull up. Yep. It's such a fact. All states gonna give you these hands. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure, make sure you check out Insecure on HBO Max. Uh, well, you can basically catch up to speed before the final season, whenever that airs. You can catch Girls Pop Ever on Peacock and Psychopaths. I think is on is on Hulu, I believe. It um, might be on Netflix. Pretty sure it's on Hulu. If you got Funimation or Crunchyroll, check it out on there or try to YouTube it, if anything. But check out those three shows. They're good shows. And they're about to go right here on the Sleeper Picks board because we got last week's Sleeper Picks, which is me saying Exodus, the DMX album, Love, Death, and Robots from Netflix from Ant the Geek, and Chojin X, a manga that h -Song found himself and thought it was pretty cool. So we got those three things on there from last week, and now we have three new things on there for this week. And we have the Basuda board, which has a new member. So there's Jiu Jitsu, the movie from Netflix from last year, and the recent Mortal Kombat reboot that came out this past year. So we have two things, and guess what, people? We are yearning for more. If you know something that is Basuda, let us know in the comments. Write it down. D said to watch Dave on FX and Hulu as you said that sentence. 
Oh, that scared me. I was about to say, that show's pretty good. I know he's not saying that shit trash. No, as he said, oh. he's suggesting that we, we should watch it. Yes, watch Dave. It's a good show. New season's coming out, I believe, next week. So, he's already back. So, it's from the same guys who gave us Atlanta. Uh, oh, where? Yeah, that's why it looks pretty similar to Atlanta. I don't even know what Dave is. I have no idea what about. That's it's a, a show, right? yes, it is a show that is a loosely based biography of how Little Dicky made it. Little Dicky? Little Dicky. <laughs> that's his government name, is Dave. Uh, I know, but that's called. what I'm trying to say. It's a show about Little Dicky. About Little Dicky. Little, it's his own show. He got some of the guys who made Atlanta to help him out making the show, and they did a good job because it looks real similar to Atlanta, but it's just his own wackiness. And he meets like um, he meets um, he meets like YG. He meets like not other rappers in there. Charlemagne's in it. He goes on the Breakfast Club. Fucking his best friend is one of the guys from the from the Odd Future Lawyer Squad. Mm-hmm. This is mad cool. And I think one of his actual best friends is in the show too. So it's a pretty good show. Yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, oh, my man said you need to get replaced by him, bro. That's, that's a, I just said we need some guests on here. Right? No, no, he's not saying guests. He's saying now nah, we got guests. Oh, no, no. He's trying to usurp. He's trying to usurp his position. Watch that episode. He come on, boy. Yo, I'm saying. He's huh? gonna say something. You're wrong. He's gonna <laughs> leave when he finds out you can't smoke weed in here. <laughs> you, you can go outside. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go outside, bro. That's a five flight. You gotta interview my man outside. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say he has to stay outside. I hope you, your cardio you, game is good, bro. You just gotta smoke outside. Yo, where we, we got a cardio game? We work. We walk five well, flights, five flights baby. to come bring you this gold juice right here. Yeah, me and Ann's calves are crazy. We about to be kicking niggas like Sanji. Shit is real. Don't worry, a battle royal coming soon. Battle royal coming soon. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> folks, we are extending the Jorge Means oh. Instagram name contest. Ant cannot take it anymore. But we are extending it for you good people because we are like seeing. We extended it every fucking episode. And we're going to keep extending it because people are interested. Yeah. This is starting to trend. It ain't Mayweather Paul trending or Loki trending, but it's trending somewhat. Yeah. Continue what you were saying. Thank you. I, no, I was trying to get through your size, bro. I can't talk about them size in the yeah. background. <laughs> so anyway, yo, listen up. If you think of a good name for our boy Jorge right here, a.k.a. H-Song, he is willing to get on Instagram for the betterment of you people because I'm on Instagram, Ants on Instagram, Nerds in the Hood on Instagram. He's not. So sure. we need you to start sharing our shit. Yes, there's that too. We're going to get to that right after this. He needs an Instagram name. Link us. DM us. Tell us what you think his Instagram name should be. And we are going to judge it. And the winner will get a special prize. We're not going to tell you what the prize is. But the winner will get a special prize at the end of all of this. So let us know in the DMs. Hit us up. And like Ann said, please share this show. Please share. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you can, if you want to take us on the go, listen to us on Spotify. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Anchor FM. Listen to us. We've got the podcast version of the show on there. It's cleaned up. It's nice and crisp. And check it out on YouTube. we got the full versions of these shows on YouTube. You know, so you can catch us on there. we got more coming along the way. We're going to get the Twitch thing popping. We're going to get a lot popping. Right, Ed? Right. 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 Twitch thing popping? Oh yeah, we still got that eventually. Eventually. I love it. I've, been, I've been so focused on the IG and the YouTube that the Twitch thing kind of just got pushed to the background. It's okay. We appreciate you. Everything takes time. Everything. Rome wasn't built in the day, right. my brother. You guys should start a GoFundUs for us. That'd be great. Oh, GoFundMe. Yeah, GoFundMe. But they <laughs> got to start this. Yeah, they got to start I get what you're saying, but so. it's, still, it's still called GoFundMe. <laughs> all right, all right. So go go start a GoFundMe for us. Yeah, bro, Grandma not see from my boy today. Yo. What's going on, Papa? Yo, he drank too much juice. <laughs> 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 so you got too much juice in your system. Boy. All right. So I said, oh, he said, boo. I fucking love that kid. I swear to God. No, that's my bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's my bro. <laughs> Yo, good shit, my guy. Anyway, oh, um, yeah, just share, share, like, subscribe, comment, link us. We got more stuff coming. We've been having too much fun with the with the fusion creations of like anime or wrestling and music and all that stuff. So we got more stuff coming, man. We're gonna have fun with this. To all the people that were watching us tonight, 
on listening to our podcast. We appreciate you. Thank you, D, for staying the whole fucking time. Yeah. That too. That too. We appreciate you. Anyone for that. who freaking uh, anyone who interacts with the comments that you know just voice their opinions, please. We we love that. We need the interaction. We want the interaction. Like we just appreciate you tuning in. Yes. You know we appreciate. It. Yeah, nerds in the hood. We all nerds, and we all are in the hood. Yeah, <laughs> so. that's a fact. We are in the hood. That's why we do this. We are. We yeah. are not in the penthouse suite. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. Not even close. We are the projects hot. So anyway, because we hot, we need to go get some AC and sun. So we gonna end it here, folks. But well, it's your boy Marv Lat. We start signing out. And McGee. And we need to go get cool. We out of here. Peace. That's a fact. It's fucking big. It's bigger right now. We are hot. We need to end it. Ah! <laughs>